cold dark matter, hot dark matter, fast moving, slow moving, what does all this stuff actually mean? When we say hot and cold, we're not actually talking about the temperature, we're talking about how fast dark matter moves relative to the speed of light. So when you hear cold dark matter, that actually means it's a dark matter particle that moves a lot slower than the speed of light. Whereas warm dark matter moves a little bit faster, and then hot dark matter moves very close to the speed of light. It's a very important attribute of the particle physics of dark matter. For example, hot dark matter would be things like neutrinos. Neutrinos move almost at the speed of light. Sterile neutrinos would be kind of warm dark matter. They're a possible model for dark matter as well. And then cold dark matter can include things like the WIMP, which is the weakly interacting massive particle. It's a particle that comes out of um, supersymmetry. And this can give us hints about, say, the dark matter's mass, or if it interacts with a dark force that we haven't uh, yet discovered, then maybe you know the dark matter particle's mass as well as that force particle mediator's mass. Each of those models behave differently in the early universe, when matter would fall into these small little density fluctuations throughout space-time. For example, hot dark matter moves fast, and so it would be harder to capture it under gravity for a smaller density region. And so if dark matter was hot, it would essentially pass over smaller dense regions, these small regions that would end up forming small scale structure like dwarf galaxies. In fact, the only way that it could clump together is in huge structures. So the way that hot dark matter would create the universe is it would create huge clusters or super clusters of galaxies that would break, break apart into smaller galaxies. But we've seen pretty far back into the universe, so we know that things did not form as giant structures and then break apart, because we see single galaxies. So it must have formed galaxies first. Warm dark matter can do that, it just forms less dwarf galaxies. Whereas cold dark matter will form a lot of dwarf galaxies and galaxies that then combine to create galaxy clusters. And so the speed that dark matter moved at in the early universe is a crucial property to get right about dark matter. It tells us about how galaxies evolve and grow, and how dark matter particles behave. And seeing more galaxies in the early universe will help us with that.